with your nightstand model still open, we are now going to start on nightstand drafting assignment number two. To do that, you're going to open up Teams and go to the assignment, nightstand assignment number two, drafting, three detailed dimension drawing. Find the nightstand three detail template file, click on the three dots, download the file, and open that file. When you open that file, you're going to see a template that looks like this. It has three details along with a place to put your name. So to begin with, we are going to come back to our nightstand model. Drag a selection box around your whole nightstand and go to the edit menu and copy your nightstand. Come back to your template file double click in this window here and this will become active and you're going to go edit paste and you will paste your nightstand into your model you'll notice we have a three-dimensional view on the left in the upper right hand we have a front view and in the lower right hand window we have a side view these are all the same view of the same thing just different angles to see what we're looking at. So, we are going to put some dimensions on this nightstand so that we can see what size things are. To begin with, come down here and click on name and double click that name and this window will pop up. You're going to type in your name and hit OK. At this point, we are going to click on our drafting tab. So on our tab toolbars, you're going to go over from standard all the way out to the drafting tab. And we're going to use our tool right here called linear dimension. To start with, I'm going to double click in the front view to make this active. I'm going to make sure my object snap is on and my end box is checked. And I'm going to select my linear dimension tool. Once I've done that, I'm going to come and start to snap to the end of items and click snap to the end and I will get a dimension of that part. I'll continue to click on my linear dimension tool and I will pull dimensions of all of the parts that I need to be able to make this nightstand. At the length of my side, at the length of my top, I'm going to turn on my midpoint snap. And I'm going to snap to the midpoint of my shelf. I'm going to get the length of my shelf. I'm going to get the length of my toe kick. I'm going to get the length of my top frame. I'm going to zoom out so I can see all those dimensions. And now I'm going to come down to the side view and I'm going to get the widths. So I'm going to click and click and get the width of my top. I'm going to get the width of my top frame. I'm going to get the width of my side, which is also the width of my shelves. And then I'm going to get the height of my toe kick. And then I'm going to get the distance from here to my dado cut. And now you can see I've got all the dimensions that I need. I've got a length and width of my side, I've got a length and width of my shelf, I've got a length and width of my top frame. Got a length and width of my top, got a length and width of my toe kick, and I know the thicknesses are all three quarters. To end this, I'm going to double click in my 3D view, and in my command line, I'm going to type in the command S E L D I M, and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type in my command line, hide in D 
detail. I want to hide the dimensions in this detail. And I'm going to click. Once I've done that, I can double click out of this. And I can come and save my file as Nightstand 3 Detail Template with my name. Once you've saved that file, you can go ahead and print that to the Fab Lab printer.